Turn your Android device into a powerful business tool with a new generation of Folio Cloud mobile apps. The new Folio Cloud app gives you the tools you need for agile, dynamic mobile collaboration. In this short tutorial video, let us give you an overview of a selection of the features and how they work. When you open the app, you are first prompted to log in. If you do not have a Folio Cloud account, then simply tap Register Here. Enter your email address and name, set your password, and you're already ready to step into the cloud with your free account. You can log in securely to Folio Cloud via email and password, digital ID, or social ID. Two-factor authentication with mobile PIN is also possible via SMS or MotoKey. You can create a new team room by tapping the top right menu icon and selecting New Team Room. Enter the name of the new team room and tap the tick at the top right to confirm. You have the opportunity to send invitations to the team room straight away. If you do not wish to invite contacts at this stage, then simply click on the arrow to return to the home screen. You can invite contacts to a team room at any time via the menu option Send Invitation. Both existing and non-existing Folio Cloud users can be invited. Upon accepting the invitation, the invited users are granted read access as default. Open the new team room as usual by tapping it. Tap Upload in the menu bar to add content to the team room. Select the type of content you want to add, select the relevant files, and tap Done to start the upload. By switching to the Activities tab, you can see the progress of your uploads. You can also see any open team room invitations and then directly accept or reject them. If you accept an invitation, the team room is automatically added to your home screen. Content within a team room is displayed in a list display. Under More, you can also choose to have a mini preview displayed. Once a document is selected, the menu then applies to that object. Tapping a document opens a preview in the display area. If you deselect File Preview, then tapping a document no longer opens up a preview, but triggers the document to be downloaded to be opened in an external app. The preview is still available via the document-specific menu, which can be accessed directly by tapping the arrow icon to the far right. Via Open With and Edit With, you can open the object in any relevant app that you have on your Android device, such as word to go and Think Free Write that can be used for viewing and editing documents. Similarly, you can choose to open documents as a PDF via the menu point View as PDF. If you want to save a document locally on your device, then you can tap Download to make it available out of the cloud. When a file is downloaded, or open to be viewed or edited by an external app, it is saved to the cache. You can delete this cache file by tapping Delete Cache File. By opening a file for editing, you lock this file for other Folio Cloud users. Once you are finished editing, you need to unlock the document under More and Unlock All so that the file is available again for other users to edit. Under Remarks, you can add remarks to documents, which are then visible to all other users with access rights. You can also exchange data securely, either by sending a link to files or by sending files themselves as attachments. You can synchronize team rooms and folders with your Android device by making them available offline. 
open the relevant team room or folder and open the menu. Tap Offline Available and the app calculates the number of files, the number of folders and the estimated size of all the objects within the selected team room or folder. Tap Start to begin the synchronization. Again, under the Activities tab, you can follow the progress of the synchronization. Once synchronized, the team room is marked with a blue arrow in the list display on your home screen. When you switch to offline mode by tapping the Online Offline icon in the bottom tab bar, only the content of those team rooms that have been synchronized remain available. All unavailable content is faded out and displayed in gray. You can access all synchronized content as normal in offline mode and even add remarks, which are then automatically made available online once you return to online mode. The Sync tab displays a list of all your synchronized team rooms, allowing you to keep an overview of all your synchronized content. Clicking the Refresh icon at the top right of the list display manually resynchronizes the team rooms and folders in the sync list. By tapping on the tool icon in the top left, you can remove items from the sync list by tapping the corresponding crosses on the far right. Under More, you can clear the cache manually and also configure the app to clear the cache by default when you log out. This means that all data that you have made available offline is cleared. Request Team Room Invitation calls up any open Team Room invitations that you have. Feedback that you want to deliver straight to the Folio Cloud Support Team can be sent via the Support button. Simply enter your request, tap Send, and it lands directly with our Support Team. The Rate App button allows you to give the Folio app a rating in the Google Play Store and to leave comments to encourage other Android users to install the app. We hope that this short introduction helps you make the best start with the Folio Cloud app and wish you lots of success in your mobile collaboration.